Hello everyone. Welcome back to Nobio. Myself Harshada Samant. I am going to tell you what to do after BSc Microbiology. Now, if at all you have opted for BSc Microbiology, you might be in a dilemma that what you should do after BSc Microbiology and what are the options which get opened after you have you have completed this course. So, I have a few suggestions which I would like to share with you in what to do after BSc Micro. So first come first, if you want to do MSc Microbiology, there are various colleges in Mumbai. So I have noted down whole of the list so that I don't miss out any. So moving on to the first college, which is Bhavan's College, which is in Andheri, the Khalsa College, and Ruya College in Matunga. Now the Ruya College is autonomous, so you have to fill the form separately over there. Then there is KC College. ML MVLU College, which is in Andheri, Sophia College, Wilson College, Mitibai College, RKT, CHM, SIS, Birla College, Vivekanand College, KBP College, CKT, and Patkar. Now there are other institutes also. That is Institute of Science, wherein you have to fill the form separately. There is also Xavier's College, which is autonomous. So you have to fill the form. Go there and fill the form and apply there separately. Other than applying at university, okay. There is another college which is Somaya College where you have to apply separately, which is autonomous as well. Now this is all about MSc Microbiology. Now you might be thinking, what are the other subjects if you can offer other than micro? So firstly, you can offer MSc in Bioanalytical Sciences. Now in Mumbai there are three colleges. Firstly, Ruya. Next is Khalsa. And third is Birla. Then, if you do want to do biomedical sciences, there are various other options. So the next option is life sciences. That is MSc in life sciences. So you can do life sciences from Mumbai University. Next, Sophia College, Priya College, and Xavier's. Now here the same rule applies. Whichever colleges which are autonomous, then you have to apply separately by filling up the separate form. Okay, so next there is MSc in Bioinformatics. Yes, you can do MSc in Bioinformatics as well. Even though you have done BSc in Microbiology, so the colleges which you can do are M uh, Khalsa College, Patkar College, and there is also private university where you can opt MSc Bioinformatics. That is, which is at T Y Patel College. Now you can do MSc in Neurological Sciences. Now if you are interested in somewhat Food, the nutritional value, and all other stuffs. You can do MSc in Nutritional Sciences at Ruya College, Khalsa College, Kalaniketan College, which is at CST. Now, if you are interested in studying the environment, the pollution related to it, and all other things, so you can offer MSc in Environmental Sciences. So there are two colleges which give this. Course first is Birla College and next is Institute of Science. Now there is something new course which is MSc in Cytogenetics which is offered only at Somaya College. Next there is some now if you are interested in genetics, but there are no more no not much colleges in Mumbai. So you can do uh, genetics that is genetic engineering in D Y Patel College. Now, this genetic engineering basically MSc that is Masters in Genetic Engineering. You can also do Biological Sciences at NMIMS University. Now, uh, okay. Now, this microbiology. This is the general microbiology which you can do. Which you can do in Mumbai, because there are no specializations. As you all might be knowing that. Microbiology. There is various streams. There are various streams of microbiology: industrial microbiology, chemical microbiology, medical microbiology, food microbiology, medical microbiology. But in Mumbai, there is no such divisions given to any college. So, if you want to opt for any of these specialized terms, then you have to go out of Mumbai. That is Pune, Baroda, and all other things. Now, now if you want to do Bioanalytical science, life science, nutritional, environmental science. There is a specific entrance exam, which is, uh, which occurs at the specific college only, or two or three colleges combine these exams. That you have to go there 
in the colleges and check for the entrance exam the dates and the results now the portion for all of these entrance exam is same that is whatever you have studied in your bachelor's that is bsc that you have to revise whatever you have done in hsc and bsc that is all the portion for these courses so that was all about what to do after bsc microbiology if you have any questions related to this or any other topic please don't hesitate to ask in the comment box also like share and subscribe to our channel thank you